Welcome back to Copper Star Precision, the channel dedicated to getting you more points at your competitive shooting matches. We're going over the December Course of Fire, and what should have been a pretty straightforward Course of Fire was made much more difficult by the wind conditions we had to deal with. So let's get right into the action. Stand by. First up is Milk and Cookies, the cinder block and tire stage. Felt it went pretty well. Ended up with a 7 out of 10. Um, the wind definitely got the better of me on some of those rounds, but I felt like my positions were stable. Using that Coltac Mega Bag as rear support really did help with three out of the four positions. Impact. 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 Seven. Gotcha for seven. Thanks. I can go. We got spotters. Yep. Next up is a rooftop stage with the KYL target and the 50 yard target. Started with my strategy of going with the quarter inch KYL, was able to make a couple impacts on it, but I felt like it was swinging when I came back to it after the 50 yard target. So. Didn't want to waste too much time waiting for it to settle down, but wasn't able to time my shots properly, so missed missed those shots. Um, the CR target is basically a gimme. I ended up not even changing my zoom or parallax for it. It was a generous enough target that I was able just to engage it straight up. Now we have a club stage on some wire spools, basically had to engage four targets from different positions and move after every shot. So lots of movement on the stage, I ended up timing out, but was able to make nine out of the ten hits I did attempt on the four different targets.
Now we have the sawhorse stage. I actually took my mega bag and used it as a seat, and uh, that actually was pretty comfortable. I was able to get pretty stable and run the course of fire. The key here, again, is removing the target order, but I was able to walk away with a clean on this stage. Next up we have trim the tree, the pyramid stage, again sticking to my strategy here, working with gravity, starting on the fifth rung, working my way down, engaging the right target then the left target. You'll see me holding left edge of the plate most of the time to account for wind, and that was good enough to get a clean on this stage as well.
Okay. This is the prone Ready? stage with two banks of two targets Go. each, and this is kind of where the match falls apart for me. And uh, ended up getting 7 out of 12 shots just due to bad wind calls, and I even forgot to hold over on one of the far targets just from a complete lapse of judgment. So definitely some things to work on here, including wind reading ability and making corrections off of missed shots. I can see what's going on. Last stage of the day was a club stage. It had a mover at 200 yards, so it was moving about 1.1, 1.2 miles per hour. So that means about 1.9, 1.8 mils of lead. And then the wind was probably between one and two mils of hold, depending on how hard it was blowing. Of course, I applied the wind in the wrong direction, so this was just a comedy of errors. Only ended up with two out of 10 on this stage. Pretty disappointed in myself for making that mental mistake, but something to learn from and I have heard rumors that this mover will be showing up at future Arizona NRL 22X matches so I definitely have to get my mover strategy dialed in because it's a really good way to get points because not everyone practices the moving targets and obviously I didn't practice enough. You're ahead of it by yeah. at least a target. Yeah. It's a bear. Want to get two? Yes, sir. Jeez. That about wraps it up for December Course of Fire. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like on this video, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And let me know what you want to see in future videos. There'll be more videos coming, but I always like to hear from you guys what interests you and what content you want to see. So until I see you next time, as always, score more points.